here's what I got. Got a bunch of new stuff from DS18. Yes, I bought this. Um, I like these Ampere Audio. But with me being an employee of DS18, I really need to run DS18 equipment. So uh, I like these tweeters. They're silk dome. And guys, that's all I'll ever really want to use. The Ampere Audio was a silk dome. Sounded amazing. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with my theme here <laughs> with a silk dome and there's a there's a b in here okay he's gone i do like these three and a halves these little zxi 3.5s that's not a real metal bullet in the center but it is carbon fiber um i had these in here in my old a pillars and i absolutely loved them and i never had any trouble out of them and that i had them for years so it's a little big so i'm gonna have to use my ampere audio uh thing that fits in there perfect the hose line up so it will work um i'll probably just peel the ampere audio off the grill and run the grill with it so i will be selling these on the cheap the mid and tweeter set this one does have a steel bullet cast aluminum basket they both still sound great we thought we might have had an issue with that one but after i went back and tuned the dsp it was fine so anyway um this hole was a little small for this to fit in but after my dremeling i can i can get it in there so we yeah I, we got that settled so yeah i'm gonna get to work because i gotta cut this out um that is my uh filter that goes with that tweeter up there the cap and uh yeah because i ran these in parallel you can tell so i didn't want to run a separate channel for every single thing in here so it just worked but yeah that's what i got going on is swapping this shit out i had worked today just got off work so i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get this done either today or tomorrow i'm getting white dust all over everything i just went around it like one time with this on my dremel and it opened the hole enough to fit but after i get these in all i gotta do is change those mclaren out but i do i do like the shape of this horn so i'm probably gonna just sand that mclaren logo off repaint them and put some ds18 pro d1s on the back but i'm slowly getting things changed over guys so i got them in there uh, I kind of turned that a little bit angle. I super glued all that together. They have these uh, pods the tweeter goes in for different mounting options. And uh, I knew I was using those with that lip. So I did take the little casing apart. I super glued the tweeter into the bottom housing. And then I super glued uh, the top where the joint kind of twist together. Because with the old setup, the scar treaters out of her, they kept coming apart. So right now it's just a tight compression fit in there. If it comes apart, I'll have to do something. At this point, I'm trying to decide if I want to leave that looking like that or I want to add the grill to it. Um, I don't know, guys. What do you think? So carbon fiber look, grill look. Carbon fiber look, grill look. Now, the grill, it's, it's the same type of material here. So I think it'll look, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. And here's a look at the Ampere Audio. In case you guys are interested in these, um, I could possibly, possibly sell them. It's the, the capacitor for the tweeter. I don't know. If you're local to me, I, I say bring me 100 bucks. You can have them. 100 bucks. You're not going to get grills with them, so that's what you get. Double that, 100 bucks. I mean, I think I think that mid was way more than that, and I'm, I think that was. So, I mean, I don't know. I've only used them. I mean, you can go back to my videos and look when I put them in. But, I mean, I had them bad boys in here for just a few months. I think I put them in in, like, December. 
And so we're, we're in May. I mean, we're just six months. We'll call it six months. But then, you know, I took the job with DS18, and it's like, I need to run all DS18 in here. But I have listened to these, and they sound good, good, good. I'm still using the crossover frequency I had for that mid. Tweeter, it doesn't matter because, you know, guys, they come with this, um, which is the same as this. So it's, yeah, it is what it is. Now, I did use these to plug straight into the tweeter. But as you can see, I got a roll of Tesla tape here. I did tape everything up, and then I taped it all together with Tesla tape. Just so I'm sure, you know. Luckily, same kind of plug here. It fit. So it didn't take me that long. I'm on to the other side. Move on through to the other side. I think it's break on through, but who knows? Let's get this shit done. So here's what I'm talking about. How this, you know, the tweeter, it's like that in there. So I get her, I get her all centered up in here. And I'll put CA glue around the silver part to the black. And then I'll put it down. See them notches? I'll put it down in that area. And then I screw this top back on. Voila! And it'll be glued together. And... <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, it's the, the activator. <laughs> I'm just using some cheap-ass shit I got on Amazon. <sighs> Adhesive Guru. I got like a four packet of shit. <laughs> but anyway, that's kind of what I do to hold this shit together. If you have like any, any like experience with these tweeters, you'll know that's the proper move. Got the hole opened up. I got the tweeter. You can see some of the, the CA glue peeping out around here. So this is the bitch part. I got to get these wires up through there to where they come out down here. So I can't really do this one-handed to show y'all this shit. So I'm gonna try to stick this in there. Okay, this segment will probably be a fail. <laughs> but I got her stuck in, pull the wires down, try to line that up about how I got that one over there. And uh, fuck, who knows? Uh, looks legit and push her in. So, we got that one in. It's a little uh, angle. Uh, hell, I don't know if it matches that one. I'm going to tell you what. It looks good from here. I'm going to take my damn leaf blower and get it in here tomorrow and get this shit out. Or y'all will be thinking I got cocaine dust all up in this motherfucker. It made it still. <laughs> but it is what it is, guys. I can see foot marks. Like, look at this shit, man. People aren't respectful, respectful when they get demos. Um... Most people just don't give a shit, guys. And I've said it before in my videos. We're really doing this shit for other people. I mean, we do it to make us happy, but part of our happiness is giving demos. And the, the people we do it for, a lot of times, they just don't give a shit. Like, they'll foot your shit without even thinking about it. Wet ass puss. Oh, my bad, guys. So, um, yeah, I got that shit done. It sounds fucking awesome. I'm really impressed with the, the way that the DS-18 sound in there, but that shit is done and it is fucking raining like hell. Uh, we're supposed to get some pretty bad fucking storms coming our way. Uh, basically all the shit that hit the Midwest in the past couple days is like coming here. So uh, I hope it don't stick around and it's clear tomorrow or Sunday because I still need to reclean them fucking wheels. And you know, I gotta put my black shit on the tires. If, if I don't have my tires shine, shit ain't going right. So I gotta do that. But I got the shit done inside kinda that I wanted to do. There's some other things I really wanted to do, but right now it ain't happening because of, yeah, the weather. I, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going in the house to watch that movie from the 80s called Rad about BMX bike. Why not? Saturday morning, I had to come out here and get some tools out of this thing that I left in here. But damn, that epoxy is looking. It looks so good. It looks like everything is like deep. But man, it turned out awesome. I'm even kind of digging the pattern where you can see where I filled them uh, Craig jig holes. But 
Anyway, that's not why we're here, guys. We'll close this right back up. Woohoo! So, what we're here for, is y'all remember the saga of Jerry and the Dirty Carpet. I'm sure, if you've been with the channel for a while. But, this carpet was filthy, nasty. I mean, at the car wash, black water ran out of it for like 10 minutes. It's my uh, soft shackles for when I tow shit or pull shit out, and I have used them a lot. Believe it or not. Uh, this is why I'm here. So, what I got to do, I pull my console up, and uh, I'm just going to run a self-tapper in this carpet up under here. It's going to be like my quickest, easiest, best bet. This console wasn't made for this Jeep. It's for a Jeep like that one. But mine didn't have the cup holders, and I wanted cup holders, which is kind of why I don't have an e-brake, because they moved it. But fuck, who needs an e-brake, right? So all I really need to do is take my screws out of here from my homemade bracket, move the console back, lift up the front. I don't really know, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of lost. Anyway, I got to pull the console just so I can get up there enough to put a self-tapper somewhere back there. And then I was kind of in a rush to do a show. I can't remember what show it was. I think maybe Ruckus. But, uh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. The cool thing is this shit is dry. This Jeep leaked on this side for years and it has been staying dry. So after a good vacuum, I just really need to spray everything again with my carpet and fabric dye. And I'm assuming a lot of the reason that it didn't dye good the first time is I did it when it was partially wet. So yeah, we got the new mids in the A pillars. I'm not doing a lot to this thing for made of steel, but I do half-ass want it uh, looking presentable. And if anything, it's just because I'm gonna have an eight, nine hour ride one way. I'm gonna lean toward more nine hours to get there because uh, I drink coffee every morning and when I do that, I have to pee uh like every 10 miles <laughs> for the first hour or so <laughs> i know it's terrible but uh yeah i do have both seats out of here so i'm gonna get to work and when i'm done with that shit i gotta clean those so for the most part this went a hell of a lot easier than i thought it was going to guys um i was able to just unbolt all the console lift it up there and uh yeah got the carpet screwed down so it can't fall really these jeeps suck there's nowhere here to run power wire it literally needs to come in through there so it literally runs like here snakes under you can see the hump right here to go back but i don't know i like it with carpet in it even the shitty junkyard carpet <laughs> And then here's some of the things that, uh, other than that, I get like a fire extinguisher and some towels and oh, what the fuck's this? Uh, air freshener, lawn chair, float towels galore. Just that's the things that I keep under my seat. And I got a towel in there. So, but these do come in handy, the soft shackles. So, Damn, I say too much, so too much in my videos. Anyway, so like back here, you know, I was showing you earlier. I made my own little bracket, and you should be able to see. Like there we go, the hose not lined up, hose lined up, and uh, hey, this thing definitely would not be jerry rigged if it didn't include a self tapper. Bam, 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 bam. 
I think that's an old boat hole from a different bracket I had. Look at where I sealed that wall, all oh, that BL. Oh yeah, oh she's so sweet. You don't see that shit, it's behind. It's, it's behind. Okay, so anyway, damn I said so again, fuck. Um, I put a screw in here and then I didn't base off the cable. I can put all this shit back together. And after that, my plan of action is to, uh, well, get this out of here. My plan of action will definitely be to re -dye these floors. And I bought two cans of that fabric dye when I got the carpet. So I got a brand new can. You know, we'll spray up along kind of here a little bit just down here. Just we're going to give it a, uh, a rebuild. Fresh detailed. Like if you were doing this and selling it on Marketplace, like vehicles had a fresh detail. Just don't show them how dirty and nasty the fucking carpet is. <laughs> I'll be back. Man, I'm glad my wife's in the car audio stuff because she wanted this thing for Christmas and I fucking use it all the time. It's awesome. I'm glad she's a base head too because, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but hair, hair everywhere. And if she wasn't really into a base head and didn't go to shows with me, she'd always be like, who, who's, what, I don't know, something to the effect of, what skank does that hair belong to all over your vehicle? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I give a lot of demos in here and there's a, a big mix of multicolored hair. Like everything from purple to blonde to redhead to uh, some old Jerry Beard hairs. <laughs> and this is after vacuums. <laughs> That's a Jerry Beard hair there. So yeah, I got the console back in. I put the trim pieces back on, no big deal. I got to pull out all my float shit here. That's from the We Are Not Alone show. That's my Monkey D. Luffy flag. Yes, I'm a huge anime fan. Uh, DJ Dirty Bass Float Towel, a DS-18 Banner, and what the hell? Oh, another We not a, we Are Not Alone Towel, and a Bass Wars Award. So, we'll just stick this shit back here. Yeah. So, yeah, some of this stuff don't want to come up. I probably need to re-vacuum this side. But, anyway, I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to give this thing a complete detail. Yes, detail. And I really do need to wipe the damn uh, console down because going to the last show, my beautiful wife, who is at work today, she put her drink in this cup holder and it's pretty freaking nasty. And you know how your can of sweat and it dripped on her shirt and it was like black gunk. <laughs> That's why there's the napkin in there. So I really need to, to clean yeah, we just love that shit there, don't we? What the fuck? Anyway, I, I really need a new dash for this. It's on the list, guys. It's definitely. I might need to get some spray adhesive and put that, but she probably won't. Like, I need to make a new front port that don't have Craig jig holes in it, but, and I need to epoxy my baffle. All in good time, my fair people. I mean, come on. You don't have to take my word for it. I mean, look at that. You... You'll know if it was on Marketplace and the listing said freshly shampooed carpets. You you know what's up, guys. You can't even argue that. Freshly shampooed carpets. Or just spray vacuumed and sprayed over the dirt and grime and shit that the vacuum wouldn't pick up. Either way, it works for me. Like I tell y'all before. It don't give a shit. It's your vehicle, <laughs> you know. To me, it looks better, so that's what I'm sticking with. It really smells like shit in here, though. And the peppermint oil I put in this fucking thing just ain't really done much. Like, uh, I don't know, guys. And we got Bucky up there, though. And a suicide prevention pen. And uh, some, some skull my wife gave me that's supposed to bring jangling good juju. Yes good juju anyway um 
Yeah, I'm gonna let this shit dry for a few minutes. I'm probably gonna sit down and smoke a cigarette. Maybe put some of these screws back in. Who knows? Um, but right now, it's drying. I probably need to run up to Dollar General. I have not moved that thing since uh, I did the wheel change and recharged the AC in it. I did put another can of stop leak in the AC system. And I know, guys, I don't give a shit. I did it last year, and the shit worked fine, like, all summer. Cold as shit all the way up to November. So, I'm hoping like hell that doing the same thing this year fixed the AC. I don't know. I'm hoping it did. It ain't really hot enough to run the AC, but I haven't drove it since I've done all that. But I might run that up to the store, get me a pack of cigarettes. Who knows? Um, let this shit dry a minute before I start putting everything in here back together, which, God, this didn't take me long at all. But when I get it back together, the sun's coming out. It's getting I need to clean them damn wheels. Uh, and, God, they were cleaned and it hasn't moved. It just fucking rained and that, that from rain. And the wife half-assed, like, tire shine one tire. And, God, I mean, dude, those tires there, they look awesome. They still got shine and it's rained on them. Like, I did them two weeks ago. And, ugh. I know I'm probably being overly anal about my tires when my damn console needs clean. But still, you gotta you gotta have priorities, guys. Like really, you know. Well, fuck Ola, guys. Like I think I drove this thing. Oh fuck, I don't know. Last Thursday, I don't even remember what day I pulled it up here and parked it. I'm not sure. But uh. I don't know what happened. I think I might have a clue, but not sure. But when I got in it this morning, the battery was completely dead. And you know, I got a 45 C Max in here. So what I'm doing is right now, this charger is putting out two volt, three volt at one amp. I got it set at 16.2, but I turned the current with this knob here way down to just like an amp. So I'm trying my best to bring this C-Max back to life. And I'm wondering, the dome light in this thing, which I didn't even come on, it's too low. These things, it, from bumping the roof rattle so much, it'll turn itself on. So I'm thinking that might've happened when I was driving it, didn't realize it. And I've been sitting here with the fucking dome light on, slowly draining the battery, but will this work? I mean, there's a chance that the C-Max will come back. Not 100%, guys, but there's a chance. I've done it before with Yin Long. Cause when I checked the, the voltage with the motor meter, it was at like 0 0.05. So it was at like less than a half a volt. It was completely dead. So, yeah, I'm, I'm over here saying uh, prayers and all that shit. But this is what you do. If your C-Max, or just your lithium in general, goes dead, dead, you bring it back slowly with one of these. So, I can't go nowhere. This is going to be on charge all day, half of the night. So, I'm waiting on my uh, carpet shampooing to dry in there. Then I'm going to put the seats back in. I need to wash the floor mats off. And I will probably pull that up and back it straight through here and go out not in no big hurry i'm smoking my last cigarette but i usually don't smoke from like 5 a.m to 7 a.m at all but i just got the god it still stinks in there <laughs> oh, shit that was the last thing i needed like honestly so it looks like it's gonna be a drive jangling day so Jenga Lang's back together. And you know I got that motherfucking tire shine on there. <laughs> but I feel sorry for Deb, my lovely wife, because apparently the last time we rode in here, which would have probably been uh, when we did the photo shoot for uh, the Do the Cowgirl video, we had our lawn chairs out. And she had to ride all the way home with that seat scrooched all the way forward. 
So apparently she moved the seat forward to get the lawn chair back here. Because the seats don't actually, like this part, don't lean forward. So you got to scoot the whole seat forward to get back there. And she just kind of left the seat all the way up against the dash. But I cleaned that shit. Cleaned it. So, yeah. Tires shine for days. Put my damn vape in there. Long hair. <laughs> this thing's up to like five volt now. But something's definitely on in there because I unhooked this when we were at four nine. Hooked the multimeter up. And within a few seconds, it lost uh, almost a vote. And I'd be peeking in here, but I don't think there's just enough. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it, guys. Hold on, hold on. There's the culprit. There's the motherfucking culprit. If you look real close, I don't know if this is picking up. Yeah, it is. Look. Look at that driver's side dome light. That bitch is on. Look at it. Look at it. We'll turn it off. Ah, okay, it's off. Now, that one's off. That's from the door. Yep. Just as I fucking suspected. What does that tell me? Well, that tells me two things. Like, ultimately... Number one, it tells me that uh, the stereo system is, the, the dome light just, the, the whole roof like up there does that from the, the base. So, number one, it tells me with the system doing that, that I need to uh, either A, every time I play the radio and get out of this bitch, I need to look up. But y'all know I'm getting up there in age and uh, forgetfulness, one thing that comes to mind. So, number two, a lot of uh, the reason the roof does this right there is the weight of that dome light thing. So, it's also telling me that I just need to ditch that whole dome light thing, recover the headliner, and fill the hole in with like a soft foam or, or something where the dome light goes, and bolt me just an LED strip up there. You know, like the, the cheesy shit you get at AutoZone that's like six inches long for under your dash or whatever. Try to boat something like that up there that just runs off the dome light wire. I mean, I never push to turn on, you know. The only time I ever used the dome lights with the door open. So that's probably what I need to do. Because a stupid mistake like that, not catching that shit... Let this sit out here for a week, over a week, actually. Yeah, because, I mean, I put the wheels on it last Saturday, maybe. Sunday, I don't know. But either way, I put the wheels on it last weekend. And I believe the last time I drove it was the Thursday before that. No, it would have been uh, last Friday when I drove it. I went to AutoZone before Deb got off work. I got off work at 3. I got off at 3 on Friday. So, yeah, I drove it to AutoZone last Friday to get this shit to put in air conditioner. So, yeah, it's been over a week with that dome light on. Did it kill my battery? It's a 50-50 shot right now. I mean, a lot of times lithium will come back. A lot of times it won't. But we can definitely mark this one up to Jerry kind of fucked up. So, yeah, I own my mistakes, guys. Uh, I know there's a lot of social media influencers that would never show you something like this. I'm showing you I fucked up, and I'm showing you the best way to go about fixing it. And uh, you can just find these on Amazon if you've got any lithium. I use it to test LEDs and all kind of shit in the house, but uh, it's, it goes up to 30 volt, does 10 amp. You kind of adjust the voltage, and you adjust the current. Always adjust your voltage with this thing unhooked from the battery. Because if I unhook, right now it says 5.5. Five. I know the screen's kind of glitching, but if uh, I was to uh, unhook it from the battery, it's going to show 16 volt. Hooked to the battery, it's showing 5. So, anyway, them things like 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. Laboratory power supply. So, you got to look up. So, I fucked up. I'm owning it. I hope y'all don't have to go through it, but uh, here on my back porch, that's my old one. 
It died. I had it for years. Deb killed it. She hooked it up backward in the blazer and it started smoking. But hey, like I said earlier, I'm grateful to have a woman that's into my hobby and automotive shit because she wanted uh, that vacuum for Christmas and I get to use it. That little Milwaukee ratchet I use, I got her that like five years ago for Mother's Day and I use it more than she does. But it's what she wanted. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here and run to the store. Okay, so I'm at AutoZone. I came to see Deb and bring her a pack of cigarettes because she was out too. And uh, they had these Caribbean Colada. They're on sale. Three dollars for a fucking three pack. And it kind of smell like shit. <laughs> but it smells better than my carpet shampoo. And I thought I had a sub making noise, but I had these fucking lawn chairs like right up here and they would bang in that. So <sighs> I'm gonna play it on the way home and see if uh, that weird noise goes away. Cause I'm cruising both windows down. I'm playing like some, uh, you know, like 24 up music in here. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I got a sub bad. If I do, it's better to find it today because I can go to Dustin's tomorrow and take one of the ones that I have for Deb's blazer, swap it out and still make made of steel. So I'm going back home in traffic. It's taking me forever to get home, but I've been annoying the fuck out of these old people. <laughs> I do it in short bursts as to not be too annoying. And I'm only listening to it like volume 25 because like I said, I'm playing 26 up with both windows down and uh, it's playing it nasty. The high notes are just terrible in here. Like the high notes make me want to tap and it hurts my ear on this side. So yeah, I'm just playing highs, but uh, I'm only turning up to like 24. Uh, I demo at 28 normally, but that's on lows. So I don't like the high note at all. The high note makes me want to tap at 24 sometimes, so. Nah. Uh, and I know with the frequency, it's doing like a, a 63 normally there. So, yeah, I don't like that high note at all. <laughs> oh, she's still full, guys. Um, I pulled the plug. It started running out on its own. And I get it. The reason it's doing it now is because it's a little higher in the front than it is in the back. So... She's good and topped off, but that's good. I learned last time fighting with that thing, trying to use the wrench and everything else to use my impact and 30 millimeter socket pulls it right out. Fluid's still pretty red. Um, if there's anything that I would ever worry about on this transfer case, it would be, or anything on the Jeep would be the transfer case and transmission. I haven't changed them and you can tell something's leaking. But I just noticed there's a lot of silicone picking out around there. And that lets me know that somebody's been in here before. So, yeah, that's kind of a good sign, right? That, you know, somebody's probably been into it. You can see a little silicone right there peeking out. So, somebody been in it. I got two, two more of these things. Newer. This is the old style. It's got bushings in it. I have two out at my buddy Billy's house. I had a newer Jeeps that are ball bearing. It's just, I don't know if they'll fit. I mean, I know there are 231s. This one's a 231. But some people say that there could be a difference between the shaft length on the transmission and all that shit. So that's kind of why I haven't changed it over. At one point, I had a slip yoke eliminator kit. And uh, the different transfer cases, newer style, that I was going to put a new chain in and a lip slope. Yeah, yeah right. Slip yoke eliminator and uh, kind of run with that. But I never did because the dry shaft issue. You got to get a different dry shaft. And uh, it was my only vehicle at one time and I couldn't leave it parked a week while I measured and tried to find the dry shaft I needed. Then other people was like, well, fuck, that front dry shaft will fit. But I measured, and that long that that rear is longer than the front, I think. I don't know. Fuck. 
anyway, I, I didn't know, but, uh, yeah, you know, I think she'll be good, uh, for the trip just kind of going over everything, but we're getting ready to do something else here now. So, uh, yeah, we're getting ready to jump on that. God, I do got LEDs under this motherfucker LED strip somewhere. Where the hell are my LED strips? Ah, fuck, who knows? I know I had underglow under the sides of this Jeep. <clears throat> and I don't see it. Like, I thought it was here. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, it's right there. Ah, it's hiding from me. Yep, I need to take that shit off. The rock lights are so fucking bright that, uh, I don't never need them no more. Oh, shit. All right, I got something else I got to do real quick. Y'all gonna get a kick out of this shit.